Well, this, this uh, I'm really happy for these guys, and it really is all about them. You know, to, to the far right is Corey Allen. To my immediate right is uh, Kane Williams. To my left, Justin Roberts. And to the far left, Ellie Elson Sammy. Um, hard fall game against a really good team and hotly contested as a championship game you would expect to be against a really well coached team and a good man. And uh, we, we, we developed some metal. And we showed that tonight. And uh, I'm, I'm just really just proud of these guys that they've had this experience together. I'm glad I'm, that, that I was able to be a part of it with them. And, and uh, it's a great night. Thank you, Coach. Questions in the room right here? I mean, I don't think it took any pressure off, honestly, because uh, they, they got right back in it, as you saw. Uh, but, I mean, it was it's easy to let your guard down when you get a lead like that. But our main focus was to keep going, keep playing, keep playing hard, and keep boarding and keep pushing the pace and see what we can get. Right here in the front. Coach, Paul Chesson across sports, what are your feelings as a player? How much of special history is in the last year? Go through a whole season, not to get two. It is special because the experience we had last year, I think, led to uh, these guys up here desire to, to return. And they were motivated to be here and do this. And along the way, it didn't look like we were going to be here. Um, but they continued to trust us. Our staff continued to stay connected with these guys. And we had a breakthrough somewhere along the line, and we stuck together. And then these four guys stepped up and brought us here, and they got it done. When you say breakthrough, what was that breakthrough? What was that like? That well, we, we, we were in a dark place. We were losing. And when you get into that situation, you're either going to give in or you're going to persevere. And I, I couldn't pinpoint a day or a moment or a specific incident where I would say we broke through, but we broke through in that we didn't give in. We didn't quit. And I think that was the breakthrough because we knew that we had a good team because we were here last year, same group. So we knew we had a good team. It was buried under some rubble and uh, we fought out of it. And I, I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Go right here on the aisle. Coach, in the second half, three of them made their run, but it seemed like every time they hit a punch, someone on your roster came up, different guys all across the house. Phenomenal. You know, I, th I think that's that's what I'm talking about when I say metal, you know, um, whether it was a shot, a rebound, a play that needed to be made. And, and uh, you know, I think that these guys really understood how long the game was going to be and how hotly contested it was going to be. And when they cut it, I think they cut it to two or three and we, we didn't waver like we you only got to win the game by one. Um, and we were still in a position to win the game. So um, the game went the way it went. That's what competition does. And uh, we remained up to the task. So, again, proud of these guys. I mean, that, that's what he does. You know, he plays with his heart. He plays with great passion. And uh, I mean, he's, I mean, he's just a joy to coach. Great young man, great leader, and tremendous player, better person. Uh, you know, what more can you say? We've got a Zoom for a question uh, for Coach. Um, what were your thoughts on how Louisiana fought back, especially considering all that Coach Marlin has been through? Well, I think the, the uh, fortunately, I got a chance to see Coach Marlin. Uh, and express my condolences before uh, their shoot around this afternoon. And I think I knew it was going to be a hard fought game because both teams, uh, they're a really talented team that had their share of adversity during the course of the year. And they were still standing at the end. And, and uh, so we both teams had that in common. So it made for a, a tremendous battle. And uh, we weren't surprised by that at all. Questions right here on the aisle for any of the players. Uh, I know you're still kind of soaking it in, but what's this moment like right now? 
Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal, <laughs> crazy. Man. Yeah, there, there's a lot of adjectives we could use, but uh, yeah. it's a special moment, and I wouldn't want to share it with anybody else. I, I would just, I would answer that because we've got goals as a team and we needed to win this tournament to have a chance to achieve them. That's my response. The questions. Right here. Yeah, coach, uh, so when you see the word tournament, I know you just won this, do you just expect tournaments like where the watch is or what you're doing then? I hadn't thought about that much, but uh, I wanted to be intimate with the people inside our circle uh, and the people that are really loyal to our program. And I want to spend that quality experience, you know, with an intimate group of our, our people who've been here through the journey. 